Welcome to this edition of The Hill with April Ryan. There's a lot to talk about. Let's get right to it. The Congressional Black Caucus has been meeting with the Justice Department on a number of issues. They are looking for federal help on black issues from the Crown Act, where a Texas high schooler, Daryl George, was removed from the classroom because his hair was just too long. Sources at the Justice Department say they will have to work with the current laws as Congress has not passed the Crown Act as of yet. The Senate held up passage. Members of the CBC are expected to reintroduce the bill. Also, there is a conversation on the post-affirmative action era of dropping diversity, equity, and inclusion from higher education in states like Florida, Utah, and Texas. Florida recently announced a ban on public colleges from using state and federal funds on DEI initiatives. The Goon Squad, consisting of six white Mississippi police officers, is receiving some of the largest sentences for law enforcement misconduct and police brutality. The incident happened last year in a town outside of Jackson, Mississippi, which is considered one of the most racist states in this country. Six officers pleaded guilty last year to assaulting two black men and shooting one of them in the mouth during a raid on their home. A federal judge handed down sentences for two of the six officers this week. One was sentenced to 20 years and the other to 17.5 years. Africa is in the spotlight for concerns from the Biden administration for various conflicts on the continent that are destabilizing. I caught up with U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, who says she wants to see the continent of Africa succeed and live up to its potential. I worry about uh, the wars. There's uh, in DRC right now, there is the uh, real potential for conflict to erupt. Uh, we're seeing the Sahel, where we've uh, seen four coup d'etats uh, in the past year. We're seeing democracy uh, sliding uh, backward. Uh, we're seeing situations in, uh, in Ethiopia, between Ethiopia and Somalia, over the situation with Somaliland. So there are a lot of embers that are burning. The war in Sudan, of course, uh, is the one that really keeps me awake at night. Uh, because so many people have been forced from their homes, more than six million. Uh, tens of thousands have died. So it is a, a continent that is uh, a bit in turmoil. Thomas Greenfield says the UN Security Council is working on these issues. Women's History Month focuses on women, of course. And for Black women, the issue of menopause has been a taboo subject. That is the focus of a new book by Dr. Sharon Malone, Grown Woman Talk your guide to getting and staying healthy. Menopause, what we traditionally think of as menopause is what happens after your period stop and you start having hot flashes and all those things. The reality is, is that for black women in particular, your symptoms start earlier, they last longer and they're more severe. Now, that means that if you're gonna have your last period at 50, your symptoms can start as early at, as 40 when women aren't even thinking about menopause because you're like, oh, I'm young, I'm fly. I'm just, I, menopause doesn't have anything to do with me. Yes, it does. When you are in that phase, you're in your 40s, whether your periods are as regular as clockwork, you have started the menopause transition or perimenopause, which is something that you're, you're not even aware. Most women were not even aware of the fact that that even existed. The book, Grown Woman Talk, Your Guide to Getting and Staying Healthy, is available anywhere books are sold. And finally, this was really fun. Over the weekend, I traveled to Los Angeles for the 55th Annual Image Awards. Great show. And I ran into Michael Bivens of New Edition and BBD, who is entrepreneurial and very political. We worked out together and we had this conversation. I mean, since you're so good, yeah. Um, we had a tough time. There's a lot of things going on that's making us nervous for our children. We don't know what's around the corner. One thing black folk don't like is to not know that what's coming, because we like to be prepared. We see things before others. That's why we start trains with fashion, with cars, with flavor. We're always ahead of the curve. It's a very, very critical election. It's a very critical temperament. And I would say both. You know, get out and vote for what you believe in. You know, you can watch the news all day, but we know that's propaganda. Go with your heart, go with your gut, look at your kids, and know why you're still standing here for your ancestors. Get involved. Do not turn the cheek on what's popular. 
we don't know what's around the corner if the wrong person is acting. For all you NE fans, New Edition is back in residence in Las Vegas in July. See you there. Well, that's it for another edition of The Hill with April Ryan. Tune in next time right here for more news and information for us and about us. Until next time, peace.